Hello guys and welcome to round 4 from the European Championship. Uh, today we have Alistair on the left playing Targ Filty against Robert on the right playing Targ Banner the Kraken. This is the 4th round of Swiss, uh, so please again ignore the uh, round 2 at the top. And we're on to setup. Now uh, both these chaps are currently 0 and 3. I was uh, camped on the top table for uh, the whole of the first day. And we'll see what they've got setup wise. So we have Dragon, uh, Sea Bitch, uh, I think that's Viserion, and uh, Plaza of Pride uh, against uh, a duped Carl Drogo. And uh, no, I think I'm something that's uh, Rigor on the right, sorry, and that's Viserion on the left. I think I got that right. I'm still not great with the uh, two non black dragons. So pretty solid setups from both of them. Uh, sea bitch is a uh, pretty useful card. That's actually one of in Rob's deck. Um, Robert's deck. And we're on to the first plot phase. Um, I'm going to take this time quickly, guys, just to say please do check out the uh, the gaming hall and the White Walkers channel on YouTube. They have been started to put their videos up as well. Um, and they have all the rounds of Swiss, so you can get, kind of get a lot of games, not just this. Uh, I can't promise you they won't be targeting all of those either, though, unfortunately. Targle's very popular. So we have our heads on spikes into a time of plenty. Um, Alistair has pick a, picked Robert to go first. And here we have heads on spikes. And we hit a fire and blood. Now, I'm never sure about that as an opener. I think the hands are too full, personally. Um, I normally like to wait for something you know, where you know something's gone back to hand, like with a um, First Snow of Winter or Gaston Grey or something similar. Uh, or they've bounced it back with, um, you know, uh, Waking the Dragon. So we have a Rosary played out by Alistair. You could argue he does have a bit of an econ advantage because he's not because uh, he's got filthy, whereas Robert doesn't. We have a target loyalist played out. Uh, we have a uh, Rob's own Plaza of Pride, which uh, can't be sea bitched because um, Robert already has his. We have a deep played on Viserion, and he's going to sit on two gold bucks it. So uh, Rob's got six gold. Robert. You can see a Jakaris in hand there. So it's like uh, Robert's just doing some maths. So we have uh, Leo State played out and knelt to bring out Jorah. Jorah the Explorer. One of uh, Ryan's ideas for the uh, many spin offs we're getting for Game of Thrones. And you have Jorah the Explorer going around and trying to uh, cure himself. And we have, looks like an Iron Mind about to hit the table. Some good valor protection there. And it's going to keep four gold. That's interesting. Alistair has no challenge actions. And uh, neither is Robert. So we're on to challenges themselves. There's a lot of gold kept, uh, kept 
So we have a military coming in from Khal Drogo. To Jakaris Khal, which gets Hans Judgment. Uh, you get another Jakaris played out. So I'm imagining there's going to be a dragon is no slave at this point. Because otherwise I'm not 100% sure why you would Jakaris. So he still has two gold left, so you've got to imagine this is going to be a... Uh... And that's good, unopposed. It's an interesting... Claim one, which, so he's going to use the eye mine to the claim. So interesting interaction there, um, Rob. I'm not 100% sure why you, why you would Jakaris. If you weren't playing on killing Carl, that's two Jakaris gone now. Unless you're playing the uh, Annuals of Castle Black, which was legal here. So you know they're in the bin, you can get them back. So it looks like a second military here. Which looks like it's going to be fully defended. Indeed, it is. So we get a uh, portrayal token on Drew, and he'll get some uh, renown. And uh, Matt's just checking there with the interaction, but obviously, as uh, we've discussed earlier, it can't be uh, part of the pride can't be sea bitch because there's really one on the other side. So we have an unopposed power coming in from the Targ Loyalist. So Matt is up to free power. Now onto Rob's challenges. Will he? Will he do anything? Do any here? We just take Dom. Have a, so character stood with Plaza Pride and then put it into an intrigue. Uh, which goes unopposed. And we're on to the second marshal. We're on to the second uh, plot phase with it currently being free all. We have countercoppers into uh, the Battle of Blackwater Bay.
So we have a great hole played out. And we have uh, Rob's own Carl Drogo played out. The target list is knelt, and uh, Jura the Explorer joins uh, Matthew's side as well. And we have a bodyguard played on Carl Drogo. Which, interesting luck, will make him immune to uh, Dragon is no slave. If Rob even runs that. Um, but that's the end of marshalling. So I uh, go. So get the unopposed entry going through. And what do we have for claim? We have. Uh, looks like a slaver, uh, slaver's bait. Slaver's Bay Port. Uh, Jura is now obviously one one successful challenge away from uh, being sacrificed. Uh, but military coming from Dragon. Which Carl Drogo defends. Oh, the military from uh, other Carl Drogo. So, uh, discard a copy of Rogel to stand Cold Drogo. And he's going to defend for nine, winning the challenge. Right, so, uh, jurors on both sides, and a toss up those betrayal tokens. And Rob passes challenges. So what can Matt do here? He's really used Plaza Pride, so realistically he can do one challenge. I uh, got power challenge, I believe that was. So if Rob's to defend this, he needs to discard a card and stand Cold Drogo.
And yeah, Plaza Pride. And I think that was a Mace to Illyrio to uh, defend the power challenge. And Dom goes to Rob. So Rob goes up to 7 power. I believe Matt's currently on 6 power. And we're on to the next plot phase. We have confiscation into counting coppers. I think Rob is uh, waiting for this Valor to come. So obviously the uh, bodyguard, the bodyguard being confiscated there. Let's see, setting up so that when that valor does happen, uh, Rob will be in a better situation. So the Tiger Lord is played out for, uh, with the Easy Lyrics to take for free. And then the, um, we have a, oh, what you could bring, Gondo, what you call them? Lord's Poor Shit right come in and nail the um, Plaza of Pride. So Matt doesn't want to get a double stand this time, which could leave Carl Drago a little bit more vulnerable. So what's Mag and Martial Arts? Got lots of uh, lots of cards in hand now, thanks to Counting Coppers. So he gets Labus Bay, and we have uh, Dragon, and I have forgotten her name again. That won't surprise any of you, I'm sure. No gold though, and no fealty for Matt. So Jakaris is off the board. Got to be careful now, because obviously Jura wins that challenge, he is disappearing. <laughs> Matt, a couple of times they're going to do it, and then reforce about it. Not Matt, sorry, Robert. Do apologise. So you have military from Dragon.
uh, which is defended for four. Claim is going to be the target loyalist. I thought Robert said he passed there, but turned out he's asking how many cards that Matt had. So the military coming in from uh, from Jura. So Matt's having a long think here. This is quite a hard one. Because of course you lose this military <coughs> unopposed. So Drew is sacrificed. Drogon has taken his claim. We have a power coming in from the Targ Lawless. And that is defended with um, the Serion. So. We have an entry coming back from Jura. So claims claim zero because Rob has no cards in hand. Interesting choice then to actually do the injury, good tool. You could come into the military, which uh, potentially would have done more, I don't know. So Carl Drago defends them helps defend the uh, power challenge there. So you've got claim we have renowned and then an insight. And then Dom goes to Rob. So uh, Rob's in um, not a great situation here, really. No cards in hand. And it's currently six power to Rob and nine power by the looks of it. Or eight power. No, nine power to Matt. So Rob's in. A, Rob's on the ropes here, really. Uh, no cards in hand. No idea what he's going to draw into. Um, a Desperation Valor. Potentially he ends up worse. I think you'll go counting coppers, which he does, into fire and blood. So Rob deciding he's going first. So 
So Rob is choosing to go second. So... So I think they said only getting one gold, so I think they said there's three dead characters. We have an Illyrious State played out, so economy for both chaps is pretty good in this game. What can Matt play out here? Because the thing is, you got to assume both of them are playing Valor. So this is one of those one of those games where you, even if you're positioned to Valor well first, you got to assume the Valor's coming back at you as well. So we have uh, the Unsullied played out. And Matt's going to pass there. So it's been certainly great for uh, getting characters like Cold Drago and Jakarist with the minus one strength to any defending characters. We have a dupe of Dragon played out. And it looks like he's looks like uh, Rob is done there. So I was, just, I was confused because I might just double check the robber's two gold. I was there thinking, hang a second, did he actually play out Dragon? If he did, why isn't everything knelt? Okay. So we have a power coming in for seven. Which goes unopposed. And in sight. So Matt's hand nice and full. He's got some money left as well. I think with Plaza Pride, I think you're a bit window quick. You can just empty your hand of characters, which can leave you vulnerable. We have a military coming in from the Unsullied. Uh, military for free, but obviously. Anyone who opposes could get burnt here. I think particularly if you defend with Drogon, you've got to got to burn him so that you're getting rubbed down to one character. <laughs> so Dragon defends. Do we have a Jakaris? Made it. Matt has just said that he wins, but he does. Oh no, of course, yes. The minus one strength from the uh, Fire and Blood. I do apologise. Of course, because the other now strength for two because of the Fire and Blood. We have a second military coming in from the. Uh, Oh, so the answer they didn't do anything to that. Ignore more what I said about uh, them being really good for Chikaris. And obviously they are good for Chikaris, but in this situation it doesn't really matter. And Cold Drogo will defend. That is brave. That is very interesting. 
was very that was a big risk there that Rob took. So um, Matt currently sitting at 12 power, three away from winning. Obviously, an entry to a military here can see Juro disappear. I oh, know can't because he, he'll be minus one strength. I think Rob's getting a bit worried there with the amount of cards in uh, Matt's hand. You have a military for f uh, three. And Rob just having a little rethink on that military. He is going intrigue. Probably the sensible choice here, because you do military, you stand the risk of Carl Drogo standing, defending the challenge, and getting it even closer to victory. And that's going unopposed. We have a Rose Road taken for claim. And Rob passes challenges. Dom goes to Matt, which puts him on, I believe, 13 power. And you've now got to figure that um, Rob just has to valor this turn to get rid of uh, six power from the board, putting Ro uh, Matt down to seven power. Rob currently sitting at seven power himself, but obviously would lose Cole Drogo. I think he ends up slightly better off from Valor. And yet Valor into... Battle Blackwater Bay. So Battle Blackwater Bay has been triggered to get rid of the Jeep of Dragon. So both boards are going to be wiped. So both people draw two cards. Let's see how both of them can quickly reset this board. So I might just be forgetting to uh, discard down to reserve last turn, but looks of it. So we have a Queef of the Shadows. And a Mace to Illyrio. So Matt now gets eight gold. There's got to be more than four dead characters in that dead pile. And we have another Netrunner announcement. And he is being a bit of a word I won't say on here about explaining some information. But anyway, we have uh, Drogo out. And Rob is going to sit on two gold. Oh, no. Give it a slaver's bay out to gain two gold. A 
Okay, so. Is Robbie just going to sit on free gold? So Rob passes Marshalling. Now a power challenge from Dragon. Getting Matt two power. Half expecting a tricky, you know, fire on blood into Jakaris play there. We're going to discard a dragon as new slave to stand him, and we're going to do a military. So map back up to I believe ten power. So five power left. One gold is spent to I presume bring out bring out yeah do a fire and blood and bring out a dragon. Oh no, he's going to put Cold Drogo back in the deck. Interesting. Probably makes sense. Because he can't get any claim this turn anyway, so he's just going for unopposed power. And Rob is currently sitting at full power, so it'd be quite hard. Um, yeah, I think, you know, he's probably just thinking, trying to get the bigger, bigger character back out later. And uh, Matt takes Dom, so Matt's up to 11 power and 4 power on the um, for Rob. It's predicted that Jakaris has hurt Rob at the moment. Turns out Matt can play out now, though. Yeah, bar and the gates into marched. That is interesting. That's an interesting choice of uh, plots. Bar and the gates, have, I think, is a very good plot. I've been using it myself. But um, I'm shooting to march in Dragon. Don't know what the other plot must have been. There's one. I'm pretty sure there's one left, isn't there? The Dragon with that, uh, that plus one strength for every dead character was going to do some work. So we have uh, Saber's Bay Nelt to gain two more gold. Rob's economy is looking pretty strong. And also for the second time in this game, we're staring at an empty board. Characters. Oh, 
I get pro I'm assuming Matt's other card is probably Valor, isn't it? So that's why he chose to march Drogon rather than um, have him killed. And Cold Drago is back out. And an Asher, and one gold is saved. So Matt needing the saver spade to also get up to eight gold. Matt can't play a character out here. This is going to be a big power swing back in favour of Rob. So, eight gold, basically an iron frame. So, you do a military here for four. And nightmares on Cold Drogo. And it's like a hand judgment played to stop the nightmares. It might be better to do the nightmares on Asher. And it looks like Rob is going to take claim, which is going to put him. Uh, so he's going to take Dom, so he's on 9 power. I think Matt's still on 10. And Valor into Summer Harvest. Has Rob, I know he runs Risen, has he got any Risen in hand? Does so Matt didn't bother playing any characters out? He does have a Risen in hand. So, Risen, is there a hand judgment? No, there is not. So, Asher is kept alive, and that is massive at this point. One thing Asher loves is a small board. I think Matt knows that that was a big, big call. So he gets four gold for the uh, plot. He'll get another two gold from Slaver's Bay. And he doesn't need to worry about um, a Valor coming back because that was the seventh plot. So that plot's now locked in until uh, plot, what's that, at least plot 12, 13-ish. So... Oh, this is a Danny. It is Daenerys Targaryen has hit the board. And now I think um, I think Matt's probably in trouble now. Targaryen and uh, Dora. Doria. That's it, isn't it? It's Doria. So, it's going to be six gold for Matt. What can he get out? Say so Asher loves these small boards. Uh, 
A plaza of punishment, which is an interesting choice. Because with Seabitch on the other side, that could be stolen. So if you not care for character put out, you can end up having your own character killed by your own uh, plaza, uh, plaza of punishment. So military from Asher, stealthing nothing. Oh, so we're gonna have a dragon put out. How's he got Jakaris as well? No, nah, it won't work, will it? Because uh, she's plus one strength. So this is basically just to die. Oh. She's got an attachment. Oh, he thought he could kill her. Oh, Matt. He thought he could win the challenge. So, Drogon is now killed. Oh, feel sorry. It's obviously unopposed at least, but I don't think that had the desired effect. We have a power coming in from uh, Jura and the Targa Loyalist. So another dragon brought out, another fire and blood to defend the challenge. Just think trying to um So minus two strength from Jura. So now oh, sorry, so now he wins the challenge. I get that. Um So the intrigue which is unopposed and gets it oh ho, 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 ho. <laughs> uh, the house of the undying which now that um Seavich is gone you'd actually want to play out <laughs> So, discarding a cold Drogo to stand uh, Viserys. And tied for Dom. And we are at 10 power to Rob, and I think 8 or 9 power to Matt.
So what plot do you think we play out now? Uh, probably counting coppers here from uh, Rob, I reckon. Matt, when you try and play heads and spikes, so it's 10 all. Uh, you can see the power now, it's 10 all. Rob's having a bit of thing before he plays this plot. Probably a good idea, it's a very important turn. So same at time here. And we have robbers chosen. We have counting coppers into counting coppers. Both players I think just need to see some answers at this point. Uh, money is no issue. So yeah. So Rob's choice on first or second. So, lots of options now. What have they drawn into? So everything knelt to get all the maximum gold he can for another slaver's bay. So that should be four, five, six gold, I believe. This is a missed on the mass there. Deep for uh, Viserion. And uh, just a reminder, guys, um, uh, round five failed to record and round six, the uh, players asked not to be recorded. So there will be uh, the next round will be round seven. So a bit of a jump. But um, then from there, it should be videos throughout until the final. Um, well. We have Daenerys Targaryen put into play. So he must have had eight gold. Yes, because the Illyria's estate and the filthy paid for the second slaver's bay. That does that up. So uh, we're going to have four gold on uh, this Rob side. But obviously he's got the Illyria's estate, the um, Targaryen loyalist, and two great halls still to use.
Uh, we have a little note to bring out Illyria. And it looks like he's passing challenges there. Can either of them close out of this turn? I've got to feel, you've got to feel that Rob's probably in the driver's seat at this point, barring something... Um, some fantastic moves here from um, from Matt. So we have a power challenge coming in. Plaza Pride to stand him. Jakaris on the defend on the kind of character, so that is unopposed. I think he probably wished Danny had gone into the challenge. And that is the power. Uh, so he's done Plaza Pride onto. Not plus 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 punishment onto Asher, but Asher already has a um, has an attachment. So I don't think she can. Probably, we better probably doing draw, wouldn't it? Uh, Dora. So Matt's up to twelve power. Rob's down to nine. I'm not sure that Chikara's play was the right move. You could have killed Dan. You could have killed uh, Asher when she came into a challenge. Comes into the military. Danny standing. Burn her. I think Matt's in trouble here. Unless there's a waking the dragon in hand, you're going to get an unopposed power, an unopposed military. So that's free power, uh, intrigue. Then an unopposed intrigue, then take Dom. So that puts, that put Rob two power away, I believe. So, Matt passes challenges, and that looks, that was a uh, fire and blood to bring back Drogon, pretty sure it's the second time he's come back to life. Military? Oh, sorry, she does have stealth, so it won't be quite free under post challenges, but... Uh, yeah, the military, stealth and the dragon, standing up. So, 12 power, so you probably didn't do a big, big entry, so big... Big power? So you have a power challenge coming in to Danny O'Neill. So 
So claim one. Renowned, yep, yeah, because Drogon's out, and Matt's going to call the game there. Yeah, I think that was uh, that game was going definitely getting away from him, and I think um, and I think time was about to get called anyway. The uh, the crown of golden hand as well would have been pretty brutal, uh, being able to kill the um, would have been able to kill probably Danny. Oh. Oh, what's oh this work yeah he actually got it anyway because of uh, unopposed intrigue with renowned and then he's got dominance so just make sure it's not a mod win or not anyway guys thanks for watching uh thanks to the guys for letting me record them uh do come back tomorrow for round seven from the swiss and then we're not that far away from the cut and guys as always uh, do check out the White Walkers in the Great Hall, and it has been emotional.